everybody, Ricky and Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, April the 14th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast a Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for the featured race 3, 1, 54 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Videogenic Stakes 8.5 furlong root test on the turf. Phillies and mares, 4 years old, and up race for a stakes prize of some $75,000. Contenders number 6, Roman Robin. Number two, Acton Happy, the paired entry of number one, Checkpoint, and the stable mate, number one, a laughing on my list, along with number four, Hessenite. little thoroughbred trivia, folks. Videogenic was a mare that was claimed in 1985 at the age of three for a price of $100,000. After the claim, she went on to win 11 stake races, winning more than $1 million in the process. Was eventually sold at the end of her career as a brood mare for some six hundred thousand dollars in this race named in her honor number six roman robin has turned in power run performances of five straight hitting the board in three of those adventures goes to the post with the saturday co-feature with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of junior alvarado and richard dutrow jr in a corner of the fifth and board of an impressive 78 percent of their entries saddled as a team to date Number two, acted happy. The morning line favorite has hit the board in three of her last five, with two of those board hit efforts also qualifying as power runs. Race three summary, number six, Roman Robin, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number two, acted happy. The, sta the paired entry of number one, checkpoint, and stablemate, number one, a laughing on my list, along with number four, Hessenite, 6214. And the third from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Videogenic Stakes. Let's go to uh, Keeneland for their featured race 11, 6.18 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Bluegrass Stakes, nine furlongs on the cushion track, grade one, three or rolls, race for three quarters of a million dollars. Contenders number four, Hanson, number 10, How Great, number six, Dolhan, and number 13, Scatman. Number four, Hansen, is the overall speed leader in the stakes field, racing at nine furlongs on the cushion. Dirt is a perfect three for three into the circle, racing at today's distance, has hit the board in five straight, winning four times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Ramon Dominguez has been in her irons on three previous occasions, hitting the board in each, winning twice en route to a positive 230% return on investment in the process, is back today for the Saturday feature gunning. For a hat trick win. Number 10, how great a 6 to 1 shot is 1 4 straight. Makes that classic turf to dirt move this afternoon. Race 11 summary number 4, Hanson, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 10, how great, number 6, Dullahan, and number 13, Scatman, 4 10, 6 13, and the 11th from Keeneland, the $750,000 Toyota Bluegrass Stakes. Let's go to Pimlico next for race 10, their feature. 5.52 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Primanetta Stakes. Six furlong sprint on the dirt, fillies, and mares. Three rolls and up racing for $75,000. Contenders number six, Aquatania. Number one, Bold Affair. Number eight, Valiant Passion. And number four, Maple Forest. Few folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts here at Pimlico on a Saturday afternoon. This race is named in honor of the champion Philly, Philly Primanetta, is a three-year-old in 1961. She was one of the top fillies in American racing, undefeated at two. Her win in the April 12th prior stakes was her sixth straight career win without a defeat. Among her other victories that year, she won the Delaware Oaks on July 16th for a ninth win without a loss and suffered her first loss on July 23rd in 1961 in the Monmouth Oaks. She rebounded to beat the great bowl of flowers but by more than five lengths in her winning effort at the Alabama Stakes at Saratoga. She continued her winning ways at the age of four, setting a new stakes record and capturing the Spinster Stakes, equal the Monmouth Park track record in winning the Regret Handicap. She closed out her racing career with a victory on November 4th, 1962, running uh, the running of the Fall City Handicap. At the end of the year, she was voted the 1962 American Champion Older Female Horse. In this year's edition of uh, this stakes race, number six, Aquitania, a four to one shot, has won four of six starts, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, is the speed and pace profile leader, has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four, including a trio 
of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number one bold affair, the morning line favorite, has hit the board in four of her last five outings overall, winning twice, including a power run winner last time out. Race number 10, <laughs> summary. Number six, Aquitani atops the contenders list, which also includes number one, Bold Affair, number eight, Valiant Passion, and number four, Maple Forest. That's 6184 in the 10th from Pimlico, the $75,000 Primo Netta Stakes. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race six, the 10 to one bomb. Number eight, He's Attain qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony, takes a slight class drop, nice overall speed for the sprint at today's specialized distance of seven furlongs on. Woodbine's Cushion Dirt Track, Hawthorne Race 2, number 8 Call Shot, 4-1 on the morning line, a Trackmaster plus Power Pony is the speed leader in this allowance field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the turf, comes off a power run win his last time out. So handicapping from the Big A, Aqueduct, Keeneland, and Pimlico on a Saturday afternoon, stakes filled Saturday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.